Hello everyone, Skippy here, and welcome to One Piece episode 1052, directed by Tasuku Shimaya and supervised by Masahiro Shimanuki. While the preview doesn't look too noteworthy since Shimaya isn't the strongest director on the show currently, there does seem to be the promise of some really cool action scenes between Zoro and King as the fight really gets started this episode, so I'm interested to see what the full picture will end up delivering on that front. Not much else to say other than to really get into it, so just how will episode 1052 end up when all is said and done? Let's get ready to find out. <laughs> This episode covers the remainder of chapter 1027 and a few pages or so from chapter 1028. And besides some briefish filler with Yamato and Momo at the start and thankfully some extra action with Zoro and King that leads into when he's so pissed about his mask being cut with more Sanji and Queen stuff happening on the sidelines, the episode is fairly straightforward with its adaptation approach and that sadly kind of leads to the A part feeling rather dull on the whole. And without much really going on, funnily enough, kind of mimics the original chapter in that sense because of it. Not really doing much special outside of the small filler to heighten the content, which is fine, because the chapter itself didn't really need it too much outside of what's there, and there's only so much you can honestly do with this pacing, even if it means showing the Flower Capital Festival footage again and again and sadly having to flash back to the past two episodes, but it does lead to a dull first half and fairly solid second half with the storyboard that is kinda so-and-so. Shimaya is definitely getting pretty good when it comes to comedy, but I do feel like his major pitfalls come down to cohesion and action. Sure, there's a few little neat bits of action animation here and there, with some being even better than others with the really awesome scene that kicks off the B part, but it's largely thanks to said animators that they're as good as they are in the first place because Shimaya overall does have some pretty neat ideas when it comes to portraying action at points, but he doesn't reach the potential with it that he could, I feel, and he does play around with colors a small bit too, but again, when the rest of the episode doesn't really feel that way outside of these moments, it feels a little incongruent. I definitely do appreciate that he's trying at points, don't get me wrong, but I can't help but feel like it's a board of moments rather than a cohesive one on the whole, which really is just 1052. Not amazing, but certainly has some cool ideas that are worth noting, and I hope that Shimaya will only continue to improve on his work in the near future and beyond. Next week, thankfully, is looking like a more solid final product with episode 1053 that despite the preview not showing too too much in the way of action, looks fairly solid, well animated, and mostly confident all throughout. So we'll just have to see what Takoro has cooked up for us next week as we take a look at the other wings fight mainly. Anyways guys, that's it for now, I'm Skippy, and Yamato hitting Momo was way too funny.